Revenue is vanity, profit is sanity. How many times have you heard this in business, not just e-commerce, but is there some scenarios where you can go against the grain and you can inflate revenue and then commit to making a profit at a later stage? It definitely is. And I want to give you a few examples today on when it actually might make sense to do this for your own business. So I've got my little sticky note here so I don't forget anything and embarrass myself. Just to give you an example of how this typically works, some of the clients that we work with, a lot of e-commerce brands, direct to consumer, are really front loading, piling people into the top of the funnel with Facebook, Google, Instagram ads, TikTok. And the purpose in doing this obviously is to capitalize on market share, push more people through the business and basically pay to acquire these customers. A lot of the times these people are spending thousands of dollars, pounds on ads every single day and they may not be making a profit out of these customers. So why do they do it? Well, you can actually create this burst in acquisition as long as you have a plan on the back end to become profitable. Um, you really need to look at your customer lifetime value if this is what you're doing and this is your strategy because you can load people into the top of the funnel if you have an understanding of what your customer lifetime value is. So this will make periods where you chase acquisition, try and go after higher revenues more viable and also know that you can turn these customers into a profit later on down the customer life cycle. How do you do this? Well, you should definitely condition your customers to look for you in your more profitable channels. Build a community, build groups of, you, of core customers where you communicate with them and you migrate them away from these social platforms. Obviously, I'm going to recommend that you condition your customers to look at email, but you also want to be thinking about SMS, push notifications, and creating groups and communities where you can leverage things like content marketing to really stretch out that customer lifetime value. If you commit to doing this and you have these channels firing effectively, then you can go through stages throughout the year where you drive acquisition a bit heavier and you can have a limited return on ad spend compared to what you normally have. But obviously make sure you have these channels fine tuned to turn a profit later. Couple of key considerations that if you're going to do this, you really need to pay attention to. Um, so one of them, don't build your business on discounts. If you're loading people up through the top of the funnel with discounts, then you're going to find it very difficult to later on down the customer life cycle to turn a profit because the customers have already been conditioned to receiving discounts. So just be aware that whilst you might acquire a customer, what you're really acquiring is a transaction. So that's going to be more difficult to turn that person into a profit. Really need to focus and dial down on your value proposition. Second one is obviously don't let this artificial revenue, I suppose you could call it, um, skew your vision and your, your understanding of your company. And what I mean by this is obviously when you balloon the revenue, you might think that you're growing the company in such a way where you need to bring on new staff, and it's obviously sometimes helping you get better prices on inventory as well, monthly order quantities. That is going to change when you commit to becoming more profitable. Your revenue is going to drop. This can make things such as scaling a company quite challenging logistically in regards to ordering inventory, hiring people and coping with demands at key times of the year. So you really need to be agile and flexible in how you run your business if this is going to be a key strategy for you. So yeah, it's great to chase after market share. Definitely, you know, we work with people who do this. I do recommend doing it at times, but just be aware that it's not going to last forever sometimes and you have to have a plan on the back end to turn these customers into a profit. Best way to do that is to build a brand, give value to your audience and don't just chase transactions because it's not sustainable in the long term. Hope this helps and what about you and your business is this something that you do from time to time and what's your plan to become profitable on the back end share it in the comments below i would love to hear what your strategies are